Hey y'all, welcome to my local flavor kitchen right here in beautiful Branson, Missouri. Today I have my hunk of burning love with me. It's been a while. Been where, a minute. Where y'all been? <laughs> been where a minute. Have we been? Where have we been? We've busy. been busy. So um, today we are going to make you a treat, something super easy for supper, and it is a French dip, homemade French dip. Like Arby's. Like, like Arby's. Better. But better than Arby's. Way better. So the first thing I'm going to do, so I've already got my oven. It's preheated to 375, and what we're going to use are these Grand's biscuits, and you can use any kind you like. I got the Southern Home Style. So you want to open those up for us? Absolutely. And I'm going to spray my pan with some cooking spray. Get those opened up. We used to call these biscuits, what'd you call them? Did you call them anything? Biscuits. We called them wapum biscuits. What? Because you open it and you wap them, wap them on the counter. So my grandma made these biscuits every Sunday. Well, she made the little tiny cheap ones. Yeah, that's but, all. Yeah. Grand, we didn't have grands on, I mean, back no, in the day. No, no. That's neat. So uh, we're only going to use half of these because we're going to use like four of those and then save the rest. So put them over to the side because we're going to do something uh, different with those for dessert. We're going to have a great this dessert. This is for dessert. Oh, yes. Horseradish. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel these apart just like that. That's Take a big old whisper. Yeah. That'll clear out your old It heads. will. It'll clear out your sinuses. Ooh. So you just kind of get the middle of your biscuit and peel it apart. Ungrand it. Ungrand it. All right. And I've got this on my cookie sheet here. And what we're going to do. What we got going on here? We're going to make some garlic mayo. Wow. It's like nose opener. <laughs> I know, right? right? Okay. So what we did was we went down to Price Chopper. And we got some, holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> High dollar meat. <laughs> we got some yep. roast beef. and But this is a pound, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's boar's head. That's, holy I mean, the meat's not boar head meat. The brand is boar's head. Did you ask for this? What? The most expensive one they had? No, you said you wanted a pound. and Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got, um, this is, yeah, boar's head top notch that's uh, why it's no longer five for five right there roast beef <laughs> okay anyway uh yeah but you can also buy this in the um lunch meat yeah, section yeah but it's not you can buy good. it in the when lunch they, meat when they peel it off fresh so what we did was we asked them to slice it you said slice it like arby's, arby's yeah so this is roast beef and we got it in the deli but you but you, you can also buy arby's it arby's doesn't have real meat their meat's like spam <laughs> You know that? Like, <laughs> anyway, it is. It's not like, like, but we love Arby's. Yeah, I love Arby's. No haters, no haters. See, this has like the marble and the, I mean, this is yeah. real meat. So, that's yeah, it's, so good too. yeah, it does smell good. So, what you're going to do is you're going to pile your um, meat on each one of your bottom. Get me some of that cheese too. So, that's the provolone cheese that we got. So, you're going to pile your meat on each one of these. How much you think you would like that's about 18 dollars worth right there <laughs> right? <laughs> just put this whole thing on there or do you want to put a little i think we should um not put the whole thing on or do you want to i think we should yeah break it up so just pile your meat on each one of your bis biscuit bottoms get a little more and see you have enough here we're i'm only going to make four of these so you have enough to make quite a few and I love roast beef. Do you like roast beef? I love roast beef. Arby's is like I one, love Arby's. <clears throat> yeah, one of my favorite. Oh, whoops, we're missing some on that. But Arby's. One of know, my favorite I know, I places. I talking about how we was poor growing up. But Arby's <laughs> was like a treat. Oh, definitely. If we went to Arby's, we knew that it was payday. Yeah, because Arby's was a big treat. All right, that, there that we go. That was back when they have potato cakes. I, oh, I, I, I love. I heard they quit making them. Yeah, they or, did. I loved potato cakes. Which are also hash browns however you want to do it but if you eat them at lunch potato cakes but they're in the morning they're hash browns now listen we can um what are we doing with those are those the lids these are the tops oh wait i was Why only gonna make four yeah uh, uh, oh you you accidentally yeah, I, made I one it. that's okay well, it's okay that's right. i'm sure i'll eat it no okay it's okay so then you take your top and then you put it right on there now i have an egg cracked i we'll just do one topless i guess i cracked an egg let me beat that dude yeah shape. and we're just gonna beat that egg Where's he going? These, we're going to, um, oh, we have more than, what in the world have we done here? No. Okay, get me some more biscuits. We're going to have to fix this. Can't be having this. You just need one more? Yeah, just one more. 
there we go split it open and awesome put this right on top just like that and now we're going to take our egg beat that really good and then you're let me show you what these look like though so that's what it's going to look like right before we put them in the oven you're going to top them off and then you're going to paint these yep on. paint it on so you get an egg crack an egg uh beat it up and then we're going to give it an egg wash this is is this a fancy pamper chef no it's not it's just lightly just just oh. real light yeah not like you don't want like scrambled egg on top yeah sorry not too much paint on the brush yeah it's okay okay and we've got our oven set now what's this egg wash going to do it's just going to make it golden brown and it's going to have a little kind of a little crunchy top it's going to be really really scrumptious all right so, so got it. get it right see right there where you're Some missing Arby's it these guys probably watching this going we need to do that okay. to our beef and cheddars yes definitely all right that's going to be like a scrambled egg right there hey, ain't nothing wrong with that all right anyway um i'm going to pop this in the oven and i think it's going to take about let's see i think 20 minutes 30 about 30 minutes i think maybe maybe 20 we'll, we're going to test it and see but i'm going to pop these in the oven and then i'll tell you exactly how long this takes and then in the meantime i've got some other things going back here on the stove i have a can of french onion i have a, they did they only had best choice which this is really good i i put this in a lot of things and then they have the beef consomme is that how you say that Consomme. 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 Consomme, I think. So these are the two things that I put together to make my French dip. Is it dip. just like beef stock or beef? Yeah, juice? so we're just going to dip them in that. So that's what you're going to use. So I've got that already back here on this little saucepan, in this little saucepan. And then in the meantime, we're going to make some... Oh, that smells delicious. We're going to make some uh, garlic beer, mayo. Okay, so now we're going to make a little... Um, bread for our sandwiches and this is what we call garlic mayo and we make this here in the restaurant this is what we use on our junk burger and our club club sandwich of course we make it in bulk Some so people just like dipping their fries in it they it's do pretty dang good yeah so i'm just going to put a little mayo in here um a couple of big tablespoons there we make it in a big five gallon bucket yeah. <laughs> so so this is kind of we're downsizing so you're going to use a little mayo and then i need to get got a spoon uh wait whoa 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 okay wait, wait. we're going to use chopped garlic like minced garlic and you can get that at the grocery store over in the refrigerator yeah, i mean not too. in the refrigerator in the um where you buy uh, vegetables and stuff in the produce you can I find never go to that part of the store <laughs> why <laughs> The produce too healthy. Or, yeah, too healthy. Okay. Is that bad enough? That looks that looks good. Um, so I'm gonna say that's probably about a teaspoon of teaspoon to a couple of about three or four, that's probably a quarter cup quarter cup of mayo. How much so a teaspoon. Do we put wait, just there? a minute. Wait, just a minute. I'm doing something first. Okay. So this I'm just gonna show you how we make our garlic mayo first. So we do the mayo the minced garlic and then we do some uh, coarse black pepper so this is what our mayo is here at the restaurant and that's how you make it and then you just mix it up and then that's it but today we're going to add some horseradish to it since we're doing the roast beef oh that spoon doesn't fit does it Why you using it backwards no it's like a <laughs> no how many spoon handles okay is that enough <laughs> yeah that should do it this is creamy horseradish you can use prepared horseradish or um creamy horseradish we're going to use creamy and then mix hey, it that's in. a lot stronger than uh than the the rb stuff because we probably yeah, get some over there in the drawer <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty sure we probably do it's pretty strong so anyway there's our sauce and i'm going to grab our this is going to be what your sandwiches look like so these are going to cook Anywhere from uh, uh, about, I put these in here for 20 minutes and I forgot to tell you that in your egg wash, I forgot to tell you that you do add a little water to that. It's not just an egg. So you, you, oh. add, you, you add a little water to it. And anyway, so there's a little water in there just so you know. Holy cow, it looks good. Look at that. All right. So it's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes on these. And look how golden brown and delicious those look. Yum. All right, so 
Here's our little sandwiches. We've got our spread. Let me get you a plate. Need a plate. And then I had my um, beef broth over here cooking. Ooh. So it's nice and warm. And you're, ooh, there's a fly. I didn't get out of here. Ball. Get out of there. It's fly season. So you can, I know, great. All right. So there's your warm beef broth, and you can just set it right there. Aww. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? And then you get you a little sandwich here. And so you open it up and put your mayo on there. Is that how you want you want to eat it like that, right? Absolutely. Is that enough? A little more. Well, it's up to you. Whatever, however, however much you want. Okay. There we go. Let me get me some here. Get me a little. An easy cleanup. Easy supper. Easy cleanup. Take that foil and just... Take it for a little swim. And you don't have to put this on there, but I thought it would be pretty well, tasty. So, pretty it tasty. Just a little bit. <clears throat> so, let me get a little taste of it too. Stick it in there. These are a little crispy. You might not want to cook them 20 I cooked mine 20 minutes because I wanted to make sure they were, the biscuits were done. All right. Mm. Good? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That is good. That is good. Here. You need a little. <laughs> mm. Look at that. Show you what it looks like. Mm. That is a little crispy on the bottom, so you don't have. The directions say anywhere from 11 to 15 minutes, but I wanted to make sure they weren't doughy. I don't like my biscuits doughy. But doesn't that look good? Super easy supper. So yummy. That is good. That's better than the RB. Uh, what do you call that? Um, Aju. Aju. Yeah. So when you get done with your <clears throat> uh, your Arby's uh, French dip, do you drink it? You no, do that? Do you no. Drink it like, I do not. I don't either. Do yeah. you? <laughs> Heck yeah. Especially you? in today's prices. <laughs> mm. Get every bit of it. That is good. That really is. I'm impressed. I'm so. going to hit pause and finish this thing off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unless we need to jump into dessert. No, you go ahead. And then we're, we'll finish. All right. We'll finish this, and then I'm going to show you how to make this delicious. There's no really nice, classy way of eating this. No, not at all. Definitely not a first date sandwich. No, not at <laughs> all. So anyway, easy supper, easy cleanup. Just take that, fold it up, throw it in the trash, and now we're going to make. After we eat this, after I'll you probably have a different shirt on the next scene because no. this is. <laughs> after you polish this off, we're going to make a really good dessert. Okay. All right. Sound good. Okay, so now we have our extra biscuits, and now we're going to make a good dessert. So I've got some canola oil in here, and it's pretty hot. And sometimes I'll just take a little pinch of my biscuit and drop it in there just to make sure it's ready. And it is. It's just popping right back up to the top. So you're just going to take your whole biscuit and just pop it in there. So I have about three left over, and I'm going to pop them right in here. And we're going to cook these biscuits until they are golden brown. Kind of like a fresh donut. Does that sound good? Donuts? Absolutely. Well, it's, yeah, it's going to be like a field donut. Like a field donut. Like, so I've got a couple of different things that we can use. Now that's golden brown on that side. I mean, these don't take long at all. So flip them over until they're golden. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> you ever seen anybody get so excited about food? <laughs> Love it. What's that sign on the wall of the restaurants is marry someone who gives you the same feeling as when you see your food coming? Yeah. Yeah, everybody loves that sign too. All right. These look like they are puffed up pretty good. Golden brown. I'm going to give them one more flip just to make sure. They're not doughy in the middle. And I'm going to take that and kind of hold them under the, under the grease just for a little second there. So it doesn't take long at all. Grease was really hot. So I'm going to take them and put them on a plate with paper towels so they'll drain. Get all that oil. Oh, that looks good. Oil off. You could probably just throw some powdered sugar on it right there. Don't yeah. Throw you know, we used to make homemade donuts like that. Put sugar on yeah. them. And, okay, so now I'm going to show you the rest. Now, got a lot going on here. 
We do. <laughs> so here's your here's your donut. So you can do different fillings, but so you like raspberry. Yes, I do. And, and I see um, you got some. I do have raspberry jelly. And so you can do some different things. Like I did find some fresh raspberries today, so we're gonna do that. So I got a little bit of raspberry, and we can do it like this. You can just mash them like that with a fork, and then put a little honey in there to make your filling for your mm -hmm. donut. So we'll just drizzle some honey over the top. And if you want to just give that a good mash. And then in this bowl, I have some fresh strawberries cut up. It's strawberry season. So you can do just half of this and then half of pie, strawberry pie filling. So just get a little bit of that. And that'll give it a really good gooey inside. And then you're going to mix that together. Mm, my goodness. So some fresh strawberries plus the pie filling. Are we adding the strawberries? Or you can just do the fresh strawberries, but I just think, preserves for this. Well, I didn't know. I mean, you can taste of that. You can taste of it and see. I was just going to do that as an alternative if you can't find. Let me, get, let me turn that. Let me pull that back. That right there. Okay, so that's just if you can't find uh, fresh do you like that or do you want to put a little sugar in it? Pretty Too tart, tart? A little sugar. Oh, okay. All right. I have to put a little sugar in. So I've got a little bit of powdered sugar right here because we are going to make our homemade. Go ahead and see if the, how that works. So I just thought if you don't have fresh raspberries, you could use that, the raspberry preserve, and it'll work just as good. Could you be a little noisier? I can. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. No extra charge. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to take your... Okay. So these are the biscuit. We went ahead and made an extra batch that we went ahead and split apart and put those in the hot grease because these, one of them was a little doughy in the middle. So if you want to go ahead and split them like we did with the sandwiches, that would be fine too. Um, or maybe if you use those cheap regular biscuits the uh but if you use these grands they're too right they're a little thick. thick so yeah even if you wanted to use the baby biscuits thick. so we can do it like this and so what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple uh do you like that is that sweet enough or, yeah. or do you want real sugar i think i'm going to vote for that uh oh you want to try you want to try a little bit of both yeah. okay let me get you a spoon and um so i'm going to also make let me get a plate for you hold on a second so we're also going to make some homemade whipped cream Ooh. okay because that's what's going to make it great now you can use cool whip if you want but i'm telling you if you've ever made homemade whipped cream you'll you'll always want that so you can do this these are the ones that we went ahead and split apart and cooked and then this is the one it looks like a gigantic chicken nugget it does that we cooked the whole thing all right let me move that out of the way all right so you, if you want to trade me places make you a raspberry one and then i'm going to make this show you how to make some homemade uh cool whip so <clears throat> i'm only going to need a little bit so i'm just going to do a cup of heavy cream so we're just going to do one cup of heavy cream i'm just making sure my yeah okay one cup of heavy cream and then I like to do equal parts because I like mine, you know, sweet. So we're going to do one cup of powdered sugar. Okay. One cup of powdered sugar. And that is how easy it is. I mean, the best homemade. Let me get my new mixer. I'm still not used to this thing. But I went, you know, I like my Pampered Chef one. But it's just not as powerful. So if you need to really whip something, you're going to have to do this. So this thing's a little bit dangerous. Don't fling it all the way across the room and get all four walls. Right. So for, for whipping cream, you do need this. For whipped cream, you have to have a pretty powerful one. So, and this doesn't take long at all. You can add vanilla to it if you want, but or anything. If you're making something lemony, you can add some lemon flavoring. Whatever you want to do. So this is just how easy this is. Of course, the easiest way is to buy it and it's already made, but not as good. Not as good. So we're just gonna whip that up. Funny. 
doesn't take long at all, just a few minutes. I can already see it already thickening up. One of each, or what did you put on there? Strawberry? Okay. It's just going to start getting thicker and thicker, just like that. The fresh raspberry is is good, yeah. And you don't have, you can use regular sugar. Look how good that looks! Holy moly! Put it right on top here. You mean try stuff? Mmm. Yes. So good. Mm. We're gonna put Krispy Kreme mm, out of business. Mm, 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 mm. Nah. That is delicious. All right. And can you hand me a spoon? There might be one in that right over there. So you did. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's these two are done if you want to swap these out. There's that one there. Oh, that goes. Over here. Yeah. Oh, you've already filled. Yeah, I try to stuff it. So that you one. stuffed it. Okay. Yeah. So this is what I was thinking. You could just do like a little bit. Get a caulking gun or whipped cream, <laughs> right? Squirt it in just like that. So you can do it plain if you don't want the whipped cream. Do it like that. Look at that. Holy moly! And then there's your top for that one. Let me show you this. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Doesn't that look good? It does look good. Oh my gosh. These would be good little party for, for a party. Oh my gosh. This one doesn't have any whipped cream in it, but I'm sure it's going to be great. So look at that. The best dessert ever. Okay, so let me, let's try them. Let's give it a try. What, you're going to do raspberry, right? Yeah, um, I think that's this one. I here. definitely want the strawberry one. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. And, mm, oh, that's there good. Go. Mm. There you go. It's mm. healthy. It does, doesn't it? So healthy. <laughs> that's probably like 0.5 miles on a treadmill. That is so good. So, and you can sprinkle some powdered sugar on top too, but oh my gosh, so crispy and, and good. So do it either way. I think if you're going to um, use the big biscuits, I would definitely cut them in half because one of them was a little doughy, so we well, had to go totally back. It's a different texture than like a bis biscuit. It's you know? so good, isn't it? So anyway, there you have it. You've got your biscuits for your... Um, that tastes like something you'd eat at the fair. Mm. So good. Except it don't cost you $28 a piece. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So um, let me have your towel because I'm messy. So you've got your... Um, I can't even remember what, made, what we just made. I'm sorry. French dip. French dip. Your French dip for supper and these for dessert. And everybody is going to love It's like these. going to Arby's and then going by the fair. And go, Yeah, go to Arby's and go into the fair right in your own. Without all the people watching. Yes. That. Oh, darn. I know. You're the best. You're the best to people watch okay, with. I love people Best. Watching. He's the best. So anyway, there you have it. And if you are in Branson, did we not? We had a great weekend. We had a great weekend. We did. So we were busy. I feel like summer is back. It's finally here. And we had some visitors from Arizona. Um, we got to I got to take them around and tour Branson. John and Jane. John and Jane from from Arizona. Um, we met I met them back in February and it's a pretty neat story. And then they came and visited we need to get us them here. On here. Yes. So um, And we went well, to the Clay Cooper show. Yeah, Clay Cooper. And I'm, we've seen it um, three times this year. But it was the best yet, but, and it yeah. changed. It was it, it's they, changing up. Let me they tell you, had the Brooks and Dunn. Yeah, holy, cow, it was that great. Was it was great. Best show in town. So you've got to go see that show when you come. Definitely come and see us here at Local Flavor, and please subscribe to our channel and share it. Um, and we would love to have you here at Local Flavor when you come to town. Come see us. Yes, please. Check us out on Local Flavor. Localflavorbranson.com and um, subscribe to our channel if you like it. We love doing this, right? Yes. Okay. Glad to be back doing it. Hopefully, yes. we can kick out a video. We've got another video kicking out tomorrow night, which we're a week ahead. Yep. So, so, so if we can just keep if up you didn't the watch momentum. Last week's video. <laughs> keep up the momentum. It was awesome. Yeah. Buford. Buford. Okay. All right. So we'll see you later. Thanks. Oh, that's Babe, good. That's so good. Which one was that? <laughs> this one's mine. Mm. It didn't taste like a biscuit was involved. Mm. But those look like giant chicken nuggets. This is so good.